everyone. Welcome back to Ask Linux Channel, your hub for the latest in tech and open source news. Today, we're diving into the latest release of Nitrux, version 3.8.0, codenamed DB. Let's explore what's new, what's improved, and why this release might just make you want to switch. Now, let's talk about the overview. Nitrux 3.8.0 is here, and it's powered by the Linux 6.12.11 Licorix kernel. For those unfamiliar, Nitrux is a Debian-based Linux distribution with a unique twist it's crafted in Mexico and comes with the NX desktop, which is built on KDE Plasma, so it's a blend of style, functionality, and cutting-edge tech. Now let's talk about the key updates. This release includes several key improvements. First off, Firefox is now at version 133.0, so you'll get a faster and more secure browsing experience. The Nitrux update tool system has also been bumped to version 2.1.9, making system updates smoother than ever. And for gamers or anyone relying on rich 3D graphics, Mesa has been updated to version 24.2.8, ensuring better performance and compatibility. Now, let's talk about the installer improvements. The Calamari's installer has received some tweaks as well. A non-functional kernel parameter was removed, and new ones were added to prevent clock drift issues on some laptops. These fixes aim to make installation seamless and error-free. Now, let's talk about the OpenRC reorganization. On the back end, there's been significant reorganization of OpenRC services. Services have been sorted into more logical run levels. Some unnecessary ones were removed to streamline boot time, and the rsys log service script got an upgrade. All these changes translate to faster and more efficient system performance. Now, let's talk about the desktop enhancements. The desktop experience isn't left behind either. Nitrux now updates its documentation directory automatically and includes better scripts for installing apps like Steam, Bottles, and LibreOffice. Plus, if you're running Nitrux in a virtual machine or your hardware doesn't meet the minimum requirements, you'll now get a helpful notification. So, that's a quick look at what's new in Nitrux 3.8.0 DB. From polished desktop features to back-end optimizations, this release is shaping up to be a solid choice for both new and experienced Linux users. If you enjoyed this breakdown, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more Linux updates. Let me know in the comments, will you be giving Nitrux a spin? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.